Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Maddie Olivia. In search of two computer monitors and a very good noise canceling headset. Please be able to provide proof that equipment works before commenting or messaging me. Need as soon as possible. Thanks in advance. What's funny? Just seems pretty demanding for free stuff. <laughs> Must post proof that a free item works. And noise canceling headphones aren't cheap at all. If I'm too demanding for you, then you're not a qualified candidate to help. <laughs> I'm transitioning into work from home, and I will do what I need for my three babies. Have a blessed life. By the way, it's rude to laugh at others. You've accomplished nothing by doing so. <laughs> gotcha. You do you. I just think it's pretty ridiculous to make demands when asking for free stuff. <laughs> Have a blessed day. I like how this person points out obvious facts to this beggar, but this beggar, like most beggars, is in denial and tries to justify why they're doing what they're doing. This next one is by Paradigm Fusion. This is the ad I saw when I opened up Craigslist to look at rentals in Ashland area. Yup, pretty much. I've never experienced anything like it. Have a huge bathroom. I am a female in my mid-sixties and I'm looking for a roommate. Times are tight and I need some extra money. I'm willing to rent out my bathroom in my one-bedroom home. My bathroom is large. You can easily put a twin air mattress in there. I only ask that when I need to use the bathroom, you and the air mattress are not in it. I do ask that when you are here, you confine yourself to the bathroom. I do not feel comfortable with a stranger walking around my living room. You may have a guest over as long as you both stay in the bathroom as well. This may seem a bit odd, but please remember the rent is $400 and the bathroom is large. I don't think the bathroom is large enough to justify charging someone $400 a month to live in a fucking bathroom. You're best just not renting out any room. This next one is from Philosomatica. Free salt lampshade. Whereabouts are you? Here. My phone here. And you have any more stuff to get a away? You are an hour drive away. I won't drive two hours to deliver something for free. Yes, you can drop off please because I am not driving. That really sounds like your problem and not mine, doesn't it? It really does, but a lot of beggars feel like their problems are on the person who they're trying to get something from, rather than themselves. This next one is by S. Peppies. Is anyone willing to part with their house? I'm looking for a new house and I don't have money to pay for the house, but I do have money to pay the taxes and utilities. I am looking for a five bedroom, four bathroom house in a good neighborhood for preferably blank or blank or blank. Also, the house will need a garage. If the house does not have a basement, I don't want it because I have to keep safe during a storm. For serious people, only comment below if you're willing to sign over your title to me. Considering the fact that 12 people responded, I doubt there's 12 people generous enough to donate their house to you, sign over the title, etc. What you probably have in those comments is a lot of laughing. This next one is from Neither Jello. Hi, uh, is this still available? Yes, it is. What's the last price cash he could go? 450. 200 <laughs> is 9 note 10 plus it's a 10 plus 250 450 hey i'm buying for my daughter's birthday so 300 not my daughter is my daughter how old's your daughter and be nice to talk 14 500 go to hell with you 500 just because you're buying it for your daughter doesn't mean they need to discount the price by a ridiculous amount to accommodate you. If you want to buy something for your daughter, you can try pawn shops, you can try secondhand stores, or, you know, you could try offering what someone's asking or somewhere close to. This next one is by Extension Researcher 2. Who wants to watch four great kids and get paid for it? 
seeking an experienced and educated nanny near Troy for four children ages four, three, two, and six months. They are a girl, boy, girl, and boy. They all get along, and the mom works from home if help is needed. They do have a 25-pound dog who loves people and is great with kids. The two youngest take a nap in the afternoon, and family would need a hand with laundry and emptying dishwasher. If you could start in March, that would be awesome. Folks are vaccinated, would prefer someone who knows CPR and could do light housekeeping and grocery shopping. The family needs about 30 hours a week and offer $12 to $14 an hour based on experience. Family strongly prefers a nanny who has a bachelor's degree in education. The answer is nobody. Nobody wants to watch four kids for that amount of work and... It probably goes on to say that little pay. If you want someone to have a degree to, oh, I don't know, just do basic babysitting, you're going to have to pay them a lot more than $12 to $14 an hour. This next one is from Exact Apricot 5322. This opportunity is starting off not paid, but is comprehensive as far as marketing yourself through all of my socials to book yourself other jobs. You will be widely known as my only videographer. However, if a brand wants to pay for work to be filmed through you and I, that will be paid. This is an opportunity for a videographer to grow their portfolio on socials and market their work through me. And I will market you to brands I work with to work on projects for them without me necessarily involved. Tap here one more time. I hope the tap here one more time takes you away from this ad and whatever they're posting because quite frankly, it seems like in the end it's just going to benefit them. This next one is by Naz the Beatty. Choosing beggar client. Let's call him Babu. Babu wanted me to issue a notice for eviction of land. I got the draft ready and asked him to transfer the fees. He asked me to issue the notice first and will transfer money after two weeks. I replied saying that I can issue the only after receipt of payment. He calls me a person chasing after money. Don't be like Babu. Pay your fees. Babu, please. Wait, so let me get this straight. Someone is trying to evict other people off of their land for I'm guessing not paying and this person wants to go ahead and do the same thing just in a different form of not paying. <laughs> I see the irony here and it's fucking hilarious. This next one is from Redor. Does anyone have an extra SUV they do not need anymore, please? I'm a single mother and pregnant with my third child and really need a bigger car. Please let me know. Looking for a 7 to 8 seater SUV. Please, you're 2016. Please, with good miles and good on gas. Please. What are you offering to pay for it? Or are you asking for it for free? A lot like this person asking for a house because quite frankly, I feel like these beggars are getting more and more bold while at the same time remaining super clueless. This next one is by Rhino the Dino. Sublet available March 1 to 15 for responsible dog lover, $100. Live alone in a very cute, fully furnished carriage house located in the Beggarsville. You must be willing to take exquisite care of two affectionate boxers who will want to befriend you. They will need love and cuddles. Yes, they get on the bed. Water, food, vitamins, and one 30-minute walk a day. If you feel you're good with big dogs who are fairly good on leash, they pull sometimes, but overall well-behaved, please reach out. This fully furnished, quiet, clean, and quiet home has a shower, bathroom, Wi-Fi, a cute front deck, nice kitchen, and pantry, comfy bed, reading chair, and more. Looking forward to hearing from you. Wait, so do you pay? Do they pay you the hundred dollars, or are you paying them a hundred dollars, or are you giving them a hundred dollars and they have to give you more money to do work? Like, I'm confused at this. Somebody, if you if you understand it, please clarify it in the comments. Thank you. And our final one is by Kosher Chat. Is this still available? Yes, it's available. Can you send more pics? Thanks. I am ten minutes from here. Sure. Give me one sec. No worries. Are these original? Do you have the box? 
Yes, from the Apple Store. No box. I can offer 20 and pick up this evening in half an hour. $40. Let me c Oh, if you change your mind, thanks. Huh? Still $40. You are a stubborn seller. Just reported you. Reported them for what? Wanting to get what they want to get for the item they're trying to sell? If anything, they should report you for falsely reporting them and also reporting you for lack of common sense. I swear, these beggars really just don't think. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.